Hello, hello everybody. I hope you're all having a good Friday, whether it's morning or evening or whatever for you. Oh, getting started. Getting started is always always the fun morning time of waking the brain up and getting moving. It's been one of those days. All right. So we got some little witch in the wood today, which is a uh, it's early access game on Steam. So it is not a complete game. <clears throat> so this is probably one of those games where I'm going to play it for a little bit and then maybe play it later to see how it's updated over time. Like I do with some of the games that we have. Um, Kinseed is one I need to go back to at some point and see what's up with it. <clears throat> I just have so many games. So many games I want to keep my eye on. But this is one that just really looks up our alley. So, been excited to play it. Making the brain work is overrated. It is. It's totally overrated. <clears throat> As you guys have been listening to, we have a lovely train happening here. Which you guys got to listen to as the stream started. All right, so I have to play this with the controller because I, I I don't know how the mouse and keyboard were functioning. It was a little weird, and I couldn't get it to work, so I just plugged in my computer, my 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 thing. I say that, but it's not working anymore. Hello, hello, what happened? Uh oh, I just hit the wrong button. Ooh. Is that why? Am I not actually in the program? Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness, okay. I couldn't really make this quieter, so we're just gonna have to hope maybe it's quieter in game. <laughs> Cause to me it feels kinda loud, but one can help. All right, so new game. Oh, that's cute. Rusty has come in and started screaming at me. Hi, Rusty. Really, we're gonna start this so early in the morning? Hold on one sec. Oh dear, I'm just like forever in the way, aren't I? Um, maybe everyone's gonna talk on that side. So let me put me on this side. And then I guess if it continues being that Ellie talks on this side and everyone else talks on the other side, I'll just take over Ellie's spot, I guess. Because <laughs> we are Ellie, so I could just hilariously make myself Ellie. Rusty, this is not the time. All right, all right. We, we just started this game. Rusty, we just started. I, I can't be, I can't be bothering you. Okay. Here you go. Attention. I have to stop everything and give Rusty attention real quick. I'm sorry. You better now? <laughs> He's like, no, but I guess. <clears throat> Please lay down, Rusty. Please lay down. The problem is he immediately is going for climbing on my computer, which doesn't help me any. And he's trying to get in the way and in front of the screen. <clears throat> I wonder where the carrot was. Oh no, is this not working again? Hello? Hello? Nothing's doing anything. Hello, game? Hello, game? Oh, there we go. Ugh, you're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. Uh, I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Oh uh, yeah, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but... We never found the carrot. <gasps> that means the carrot was in the men's restroom! A carrot in a men's restroom. What an odd sense of humor. 
should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. That coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Uh, keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see. I see why no one wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive any <laughs> anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it stop? The witch's house is in... And it stop? Oh, the witch's house in High, High Lion, where all roads lead to. Your second place... Your second place at the school for the witches. <sighs> Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I how how am I second place anyways? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. <clears throat> Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the lip in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. Uh, no wonder Will started crying. So, how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough of the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of talking off my shoes when I get off the- Oh. I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? Uh, what for? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't! I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Uh, don't you know about the terrible city rules that is High Lion? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is the first time hearing something like that. Sorry. The wind hoof came in and I was talking to him real quick. <laughs> I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at High Lion. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Ari just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also says that comfortable boots would be better. That's, uh, strange? It's true. I'll ask other people if you don't believe me. <laughs> Keyword gain. Lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. So we have a keyword? Okay. So we can investigate this table. The food was really delicious, though. You face... Uh, <clears throat> your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. Oh, the omelette was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. Oh, the pink salmon steak seasoned with the fresh lemon-scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Oh, without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch Series cars. <laughs> so she had cards that she was collecting? Oh, that's funny. I got scolded because I caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in High Lion. I'll definitely try the nappy cu cupcakes there. That's if I get to High Lion before I get bored to death. Alright. Can I look at anything else? Hello, Duke! Hello! <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we can only look at our table or the bartender. Oh, yep, we're in the way of the bartender. 
I guess we're just taking over. We're Ellie now. <laughs> we're just taking over Ellie. I don't know where to put me. I'm just in here. Oh, here. I'll just like smush myself. <laughs> there we go. I've done it. I, I, I smushed myself. <laughs> I smushed myself next to Ellie. I'm in the way. I'm in the way in this game. Ooh, coffee. Delicious. Alright. <clears throat> having troubles reading today, so this is gonna be great. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Bartender. Oh my god, did I... I forgot. I have to re-look into the game. Okay, there we go. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't want to drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? But then it's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Alright, so we can have conversations. So we change the category and we use the keywords. Something on your mind. Um, we can do personal stories. We can chit chat. Or we could do the shop. It's saying we're normal. Rusty! Oh, hold on. Rusty, get down. Sorry. <laughs> um, I guess chit chat? Let me know if you need anything to drink. Want some water? Water would be useful. Uh, personal stories. What sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the alcohol. Wait, I think it's the other way around. I'm just an average bartender working on the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in High Lion. After working- Rusty! After working as an apprentice for three years, I'll be able to graduate from the school for witches. Wow. High Lion, huh? That's proper place, isn't it? So they say. That's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is what what's important at the end of the day it's best to suck it up and be glad that you did later on down the road you know yeah later what's up okay is it, is it a different story why are you working here oh I, I used to own a bar in this area sure did my wife and I and the two of us whoa you're both bartenders I met her at work, after all. We had to move due to the circumstances, though, so here we are now. Uh, I hope a time comes where the two of you open up shop again. What's up? More personal stories? I may not look at the part, but I used to be quite the big deal back in the day. Anyone asked? <laughs> uh, is that just Vigil? Virgil? Virgil. It's probably Virgil. Virgil, shut up! You must have been very popular. There were customers who'd visit the bar just to see me. It won't let me sub. I may have to wait until next week. <laughs> I guess because it considers you already subbed still, so it won't let you. Even to this day, I'll need the pride in these eyebrows of mine. After all, even my wife said she fell in love with me with them. Whoa. A, rom a romantic tale that starts with eyebrows. What's up? Alright, shop? We only sell alcohol at the moment. What's up? Okay. Yep, that's it. Okay. Um, okay, so that's the same. Cocktails are my specialty. Want some water. Okay, so I think we've kind of hit... Yeah, we've hit the end of all conversations here. So we can do now the special about the lace-up boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? 
Uh, my shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into High Lion Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely, plenty of confused fashioners who were all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes at that sort, I suppose you untie them in advance. O oh, ye who reachest li High Lion, look first upon thy shoes, or so how, or, or so that's how the saying goes. See. Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me. Oh, the, the, the I, I had a very moment there. My brain farted. Very sorry. The prep, I was like, the prep boots? Wait, what? It was preppy right? And then I was like, no, preppy is right. The preppy boots my mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating. Mag cum laude. Mag cum laude. Words. It's sure amazing you're graduating, despite your antics. <sighs> you're gonna keep that up with that attitude of yours. <laughs> you're in the two of you speak. I have a feeling being bored won't be an issue. <sighs> nope. It's so boring. Are you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening. Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure. There was a fire, but that was because I took a potion five times and... <laughs> and made it explode. <laughs> Good job, Duke. <laughs> It didn't like Coom, I think. I think it was the Coom. Actually, it didn't like Coom or Laugh. <laughs> it didn't like you doing Coom with the con- <laughs> I, Whoever knows. Who, who, whoever knows. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Oh. Alright, this is gonna be kind of a pain that I constantly have to click- in and out of this game. <laughs> exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. And... It's a quit... I don't know. And... I hate this. I hate this when I know a word, and then my brain just won't. It won't, like, keep up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, you know, that, that mind. You've already gotten the makings of a fine witch. <sighs> Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. Alright, have fun trip. Redacted, redacted there, you happy auto mind. <laughs> <sighs> you can't act like a country bumpkin once we're in the city, got it? You're not going... You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detective never reached a conclusion based off of a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Notes! You can view your notes. Okay. Alright, so there's a couple other people to talk to. Okay. Press R? What do you mean? I don't know why it's like lit up like that. I don't know. Okay, I guess this way? Okay. It's a familiar face. It was always her name that came up first when memorizing names of witches who had great achievements. Oh, you mean that weird song. I made it part of an exam strategy. 
I sang it in my head when I was taking the history exam. I'm seeing her again in the train. I still like this witch. Oh, witch, help those in your reach. It's a famous saying. I don't. I don't. Oh! Oh, I get it. Push down, like, not, not, not. Okay. I understand. I get it now. I'm not used to controller, guys. I am the worst. I'm so sorry. So that just tells us what we're currently doing. Okay, okay. Uh, hello? Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on your way to the High Lion, right? Correct. Um... What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my. Old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like one of those janitors from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So, what brings you here? Speak. Okay. Push the right stick down like I pushed down my feelings about Ryan Reynolds. Are they good feelings or bad feelings? <laughs> is it the, the best kind of let's be honest? Ryan Reynolds is great. And a handsome man. <laughs> and he has a very beautiful wife. <laughs> I do run a flower shop, but you can see I'm just a normal passenger at the moment. <laughs> that wolf is hot. I mean, sorry, daddy. Daddy, sorry, daddy. I mean, what? <laughs> Speak. <sighs> Chit chat. Since I am not much of a talker, I don't have anything to say in particular. Speak. Okay. Personal stories. You live in High Lion? Correct. I own a flower shop there. Whoa. Speak. Any other stories? Uh, were you on your way somewhere? Yes, I met an old friend at a mine. Oh, an old friend of mine, not in a mine. <laughs> well, 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 I need to stop reading today. This is not the right game to play again. This was, this was not the right game to play, obviously. I'm having so much trouble reading correctly. <clears throat> oh, well, that must have been it fun. Correct. Nothing you'd find... Nothing you'd find exciting. It's unremarkable. Okay, so that was it. That was all that we could say. Okay. So I guess let's talk about the lace-up boots. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyways. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it'd be hard for you when you arrive in High Lion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? Uh, what? What? Huh? Oh, were you kidding? I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! <laughs> the mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of, uh, mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it. I remember now. It was a joke to make fun of people who visited Highland for the first time. Stop! You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. <sighs> Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be uh, too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by, the, by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't sound comfortable to me at all. I'm sorry. 
<sighs> well, how do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. Well, there's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we have arrived. We still have three more days to go. Three more days? That's as terrible as the smell of the spotty shiitake, the spotted shiitake mushroom. Wait, does, do, do, do those mushrooms smell terrible? Oh, up ahead is the engine room. Hi. Small talk is forbidden during operation. Up ahead is the engine room. Shop? Please save any inquiries regarding the souvenirs at the station until after we've exited the train. Personal stories? I'm an attendant of the Bright Man Railroads. My job is to ensure that the passengers com comfort and safety. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Can I- can I still ask? Aww. I can't ask the crewman. What's this way? This is probably the way out, I'm assuming. I hope you take them off, Daddy. Sorry, what? <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I push them down. It's <laughs> 20% I did it to me. Aw, Duke. <laughs> All right, have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. We done it! She learned not to take her shoes off when she got to town. <laughs> I'm bored. She just sat down. This is torture. Stare at the window if you're so bored. Ah, uh, yeah, look outside, look at the mountain. Oh, he must be hiding in a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door? That sounds like a prologue to a story where you awaken in a ter <laughs> you awaken a terrible demon. Wait! Hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree! Oh, why is it shining? Does it have lumens? Luminescent flowers? Oh, it must be beautiful up close. I'll uh, give it up. The train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. A fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any... Croco... Crocofonts nearby? What is a crocofont? Nope. Uh, what about a boa constrictor? Please no. Please no. This isn't the jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's he it's a healing game, remember? <laughs> wow, I just broke the... Th hey, a boa constrictor! The correct line is, what's going on? <laughs> uh, there's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train? I doubt it's a bow constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a bow constrictor. Oh, please just say there's something massively critical issue. Please, please. Please. <laughs> What's gone wrong? Uh, we apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Ah, oh, yes! Attention. The train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? We will likely be announced tomorrow as we depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! Uh, I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember the shining trees at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Oh, then we should get going. Adventure! Oh, wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back on the trade. I love it! Let's hurry. Okay. 
So now it's telling me how to do the memo part. <laughs> Too late, there was an exclamation point and I was curious. Okay, so this train has literally been unhooked. Oh, oh we just saved? Hello. Oh, sorry, you can't go beyond here. Uh, why did the train stop? Ah, uh, there is something in the train's path. We're working on getting rid of whatever is in the way. Something's in our way. Is it a boa constrictor? A, a boa constrictor? Uh, um, no, no. It's a strange prickly vine. A strange prickly vine. Yes, a, 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 a prickly vine. It wasn't there yesterday, but it seemed to have over, it has seemed to have grown overnight. We cannot seem to cut it down with a regular axe, but we're going to do our best. We've contacted the witches, so I'm sure they'll be here to help in no time. Oh, can I take a look? I happen to be a witch. Uh, you're our passenger. It's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. We'll take care of it, so please be patient. Can I just take a peek? I'm sorry. I want to take a peek. Let me see. It looks like it says boobs. <laughs> Am I only so, so, so the boobs? <laughs> or boo? <laughs> Ooh, what's the shiny thing? Oh, I can't mess with it. Can I like pick things up? Is he not? It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Oh, look over there. There's vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. So that's bad news. <laughs> I'm up. I'm up and out of here. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. Oh, I bet there's a path beyond here. I'm going. Can't stop me. What's this? Uh, it looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in the forests, forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find a nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we also can get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. Uh, that can't happen. Well, let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off a light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. This thing? So can I not go this way? Oh! I done it. I done it. Ah, great. It's time to explore. Please don't use that word explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Oh, we have a sprint button. Wee. That stick? I have a stick. Oh, I can hit the trees to get more sticks down. The shining tree at the peak of the mountain. So quickly, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the tr to, uh, the trade by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. I gave him the right voice. At first I was like, oh, maybe this isn't a good voice for him. But now, now the more he talks, the more I go, yeah, no, he can have that voice. Ooh, what's this? Okay, okay, uh. He's really mad at me when I spend too long looking around. Oh, this is like someone's house or something? Well, I guess that's just a whale. Just a whale. All right, where do I need to go? Got some crayon apples. Okay, I get it, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going. It's really mad at me. <laughs> it doesn't like me messing around. Um, where's up? Okay, I'm just going up the hill. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. I can click this button to stop it. <laughs> a mountain! Well, that's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. All right. Oh! I found witch flowers. Hold on. There's plants on the things. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um. Ooh, shiny! Oh, but it's in the middle! Can't reach that. Can't go that way. Oh, I've gotten rocks now, too. Nice. Oh, look. There was one chip bridge, but it has broken. It has brokeneth? Oh, what's that? Why are there so many things blocking the path? It must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch witch's pattern. A witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or... You know how it works. School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, long as it's drawn well. I done it! Hey, I made it to the summit! Now time to cause something bad to happen. Like... By standing on this thing in the middle. Which is definitely trying to get me to do. Okay. Time to do it. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a giant, shining, gigantic, gigantic, shining tree. The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is one that's shining. Uh, check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. There are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from the these butterflies have the same power as, an actual, as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Oh, aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with the moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's extremely fascinating sight to behold. Ah, isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that there are two, uh, that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those, what about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get the moon flower in the Syrian Ultra. Or, or two? Or two, probably. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, did we find something right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? But don't, just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back to the way we came. There might be other strange things. Wow, nothing crazy happened. I'm, I'm really sad. <sighs> I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rock should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. <gasps> Look, the, the blue moon butterflies we saw at the peak are here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. Oh, you think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait. E do, do you remember what Mr. Graver said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before it touches you. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Uh, okay. Change tools. Use the quill. Approach it and use the quill to draw it. Okay, so we have to draw it. Oh. 
Okay, and then... Where's the butterflies? Habitat and time of appearance. So it's a nighttime. Tools in which you need for collecting it. Okay. Um, collectibles that can be acquired. Butterflies emit a soft blue light from the sun. Sensitive to sound. It will easily go away if it feels sad. Okay. Oh, great. It registered in the catalog. Let's see. Oh my god, she put glasses on. <laughs> well, do you know why we can't catch it catch any right now? Uh tool. Hmm, so you have to collect it using the butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you could do now then. Oh, but I wanna do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in the high high lion is more important. Ugh. Let's go back down now. There's gotta be something else for th that's fun. More rocks. Oh, I can draw these with the quill too. Okay, you can't go over this way. Oh! Oh, I guess maybe I could have like a, a weapon of some kind and break that. Hello, Nova! Good morning. Oh, useful. I can't think- I don't think we can go any of those other paths currently. Um... What the hexies? What is this? What is this? Why is the face upside down? What is that? How oh, cuteness are you playing today? We are trying out a little witch in the woods. I don't have the right chalk. Interesting. I don't have the right chalk for that. Okay. <gasps> what is this? I found a secret. <laughs> I immediately found a secret. Let's go back down. Let's go back down. I guess I wasn't supposed to be finding that secret yet because nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened when I went over there. Alright, let's go down. <gasps> Kitty! Oh, wow! Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil! The shining white cat! I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to. Let's go after that creature. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Come back, kitty. Come back. Ooh, what's this? Hold on, what's this? Oh, I can't mess with it? this I think the cat dropped something and left what's this it looks like a like witch chalk <gasps> that thing that you used to draw that you used to draw things like a pattern it looks like a little different from the one we were using at school 
It's just different packaging. Oh my god, I can ring. They ring as bells! Ring my bell. Ring the bell. Let's focus on what we're doing now. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Even the game is like, stop! <laughs> it's too dark and worn for me to see anything. I don't see any words, only pictures. Let's come back when it's brighter. Oh heck no, I'm going. This witch pasture seems to be have seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Since I have the one that I picked up earlier, let's draw it again with that. Should we draw the witch pattern again using the one witch chalk? Sure. Alright, I drew the witch pattern again. Did it work? Kitty! Huh? Oh, where did the cat go? <gasps> Look, Virgil, there's a house! That's the witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. Oh, I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there's people inside. Oh, if there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be to be at a witch's house? That's true, but... Ooh! They shiny! Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can't mess with it. Look, it's another one of those little statues! These are the little statues. Yep, I'm I, I'm the witch. Wee! Anyone there? Is anyone there? Seems like no one's here. It could be abandoned witch house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's really an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although, it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own. It doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. Oh, but the bed looks fine. I guess I could just sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep in one night or so. It's better than sleeping outside. Okay. So we have a stamina thing. The house is a bit messy. We'll just sleep for one day. Who cares? Okay. I put dumb to sleepy sleep. Man, I wish that was how real, real estate worked. <gasps> Did we dream of the kitty? Um. What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. Not... No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait. Isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Oh, crap, let's hurry. We must go! It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. Oh, I woke up just in time. Oh, glad I didn't sleep in. Oh, no. Run. <gasps> bunnies! Hi. Hi, bunnies. I'm supposed to be running and catching a train. Ah. I'm going, I'm going. Huh? Where's the train? <laughs> it looks like the bird was imitating the train sounds. But where's the train? It probably went to High Lion. Then what do we do now? Well, let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? Ugh, I've been through much worse with your mother. <laughs> I 
Okay, can you please shut up, bird? Get out of here. What is that thing? Well, it's called a Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. <laughs> Out of context. <laughs> That's not dirty at all. <laughs> Quiet, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. Oh, what's this? <gasps> a letter? Oh, how nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the sh on the train. You're probably shocked, shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there is a village nearby where I used to live. You can spend some you can spend some time there. There's a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send Anit and Arden my regards. Bartender. He said there's a village, Virgil! Are you even a little bit upset that you missed the train, Ellie? There's a village nearby! Oh, but I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there while we until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Oh, right. You heard me, right? Well then, might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. <laughs> Wee! Anything else I can grab? Doesn't look like there's anything else here, so let's go up. Up we go! So chipper for being abandoned. It just seemed like the right, the right chipperness, man. <laughs> Statues, I love them. What's this way? Green depths. Well, I can't go here. Okay. Bunnies! <gasps> oh my god, I'm pulling fur off of it! Oh, I can't get this to work. Maybe it only works at nighttime. Yeah, I just stole fur off of those. Clothes. Those poor buddies, or whatever they're called. Um. Squishy chub. They're called squishy chubs. That does not. No, I think I might just keep calling the bunnies. I no, I don't. I don't think I should be calling them that. Um. No, no. I think I might just continue to call them bunnies. Oh man. I did not expect that name. <laughs> Come here, bunny. I want more fur. I got you. They're like, why did you do that? Because I can. I think this is the way to the village, but... The little honey- the little honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house and find a way. And also clean up. Oh, okay. Let's go. Buddy! Because I collect everything. All right, we're back at the house. Let's get rid of the weeds first. 
There's too much. It would take forever to pull this all out using my hands. We'll take a look in the bin over there. They might have a potion to get rid of the weed. There's nothing here. Then you'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Well, yes, there, there's a wonderful tool. <gasps> What's that? Your hands. Oh. Okay. I guess we're by hand picking up the weeds. Not sure why we need to pick up the weeds, but I guess, you know, if we must. <laughs> if we must, then I guess I shall. Right, I think I got rid of all of them, right? Well, it's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. Ugh, right. Okay. Look, Ellie, it's it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. Okay. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. What does the notebook say? She really messed up this house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. It might be from, it might be so from a dust standpoint. It's a witch's bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that a witch was using. That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read a book. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I've read enough books at school. Hmm. Witch history. The Twelve Plants. Fun books of plants. Gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to do research, who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. Okay. I wonder where the witch is. The one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Yusereen Othru. All done cleaning. It's really messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally imagined to get out of school. All right. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't let the food behind. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. <laughs> you should have listened. Oh, this is a witch's elevator. That's why you should have listened to the teachers. Ah, uh, let's hurry and go down. What if there's a scary monster? Oh, you think so? I'm so excited. Okay, I can't, oh, okay, 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 fine. He gets mad at me when I start veering from the path. <laughs> uh, it gets mad at me when I'm supposed to be paying attention and I start wandering. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You could probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. Acquire. Oh, some more fur extract. What's this extract? <gasps> My inventory is full. Uh oh. A spilled bottle, scribbled papers, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brush off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil. Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads a potion with the power of the moon. 
The ingredients are moon flowers and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Yay, we learned a recipe. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. Oh, you mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. <laughs> that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Shall we take a look anyways? Um, looks like a recipe. It seemed like moon. <laughs> yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There is no use for it now. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, this button. Oh, I've not actually written notes about. Okay, I need to remember to write notes about things. I need to remember to write notes about things. A roast, a roaster. Oh, I hate that thing. I have to put ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you just simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in a bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yeah. There's no handle for the wind for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need a I don't need a roaster handle. It's not needed for the basic recipes. There should be something when we get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. All right. Yeah, I don't have a way to do the inventory. Oh wow, this is a pretty cauldron. I think it's made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. The style's very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last you'll end up with a proper potion. All right, so we need ingredients, we need a per the right fire setting, and the ladle directions. I actually like teacher Olive, Olivia, sorry. Still, the cauldron looks fine. I'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make a potion we need using them for now. What potion are we drinking? Let's focus on what we're doing. Okay. What? I don't know what potion we would be making. I know what this is, and it's it's an extractor. Oh, we used so many times at school. A slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad, at least. I'll need a friendly toad. Wait. You need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You'll need at least to fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village. Uh, by the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Still, the pot is fine. All right, so a lot of broken things is what is what we're learning. Oh, is this a chest? Can I put things in here? This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Oh, thank God. Finished cleaning? It seems like something dropped on the floor. Uh, do I need to sweep the floor too? Yes! Okay, beautiful. Move all. Why can't I move that? Well, we'll move these stuff into here, I guess. But I can't move that. That cannot go in storage. Okay.
Okay. This is, uh, this is potion ingredients, isn't it? You've used them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Yes, I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly, make properly because of machine... The, wow, machine tools are broken. Words. Uh, since there were ingredients on the ground, let's make them for now. There was a little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn ween elimination potion should do it, right? It's weed termination potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. All right, let's do it. Okay. Open encyclopedia. Okay. View the details of it. All right. The recipe is shown in detail on the page on the right. Yeah, it makes sense. It's an easy thing. It's stage four. You need a swath club fur extract and a witch flower extract. Uh, referred to as process com Okay. You can see them by hitting Y. Okay, makes sense. So yeah, you put them in the extractor to get the juice. You put it in the extractor to get the juice. You set fire to stage four. Okay. And then stir the ladle. Oh, don't stir? Stir the ladle, don't stir. Pour into the right vessel. Okay. You adjust the fire and the ladle as needed. Okay. So we want this guy. Hello, what's happening? Oh, there we go. Awesome! The stubborn weed extermination potion is complete. It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyways, it's ready! Let's go throw it in the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there's no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. Make sure to remove the nucleus as well because the weed potion is just a temporary measure. Okay. I got it! Okay, fine. All right, so up and down is potions then. Okay. Let's go back up. We can't just walk through, we have to actually click it. Okay. Oh, you can now save or load from the table. Okay. You can now take naps. So I could use this to sleep until nighttime if I wanted to. Okay. Speaking of things. Yeah, let's write let's let's write them down in our encyclopedia. We hadn't we hadn't done that yet. There we go. Register to the catalog. Great. Need to write things down more. A silver star bell. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can write. Okay. All right, so equip potion. Uh, aim using left trigger. Row while aiming. Here it goes! God, I think it's working properly. Let's pass quickly and find the nucleus in the meantime. It's this here. Alright, we just have to remove this and then that will be gone for good.
Yeah, there's it's definitely a slow burn to like get to what we actually need to do. There's a lot of like talking and teaching and things. Huh? This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. A prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no. What did I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. What's this? Wisteria. The village is just ahead. Yeah! Yeah, no, I don't... Wow, they really are big! Too big for the weed terminator potion, I think. Hmm, we'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. Okay. I think I do like it a little bit better when they don't do so much of a tutorial. Like, there's tutorial, but I guess when things are kind of, like, introduced more slowly. I get the idea is you just found, like, an old house and so you immediately, like, jumped into it. Alright. Aria? Aria, maybe? Oh, she's cute! Hello, do you live in town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't you- aren't the trees beautiful? The green leaves are so pretty. Oh, uh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Uh, okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She's small, must protect. <laughs> she must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of, nat of a nature lover doesn't make sense. There's a lot of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy can lift the curse it should be a basic recipe. Oh, but we can't use the machine tool right now. I must process what needs to be collected to make a potion. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those would be enough to make a curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her? What? It's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a it's a glass extractor bottle. Where? <gasps> Whoa, you were not kidding! All right, let's make a curse lifting candy to lift the curse. Add to receive the glass bottle as reward. Oh, that would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift curses in the book. Okay, let's go back. Home again, home again. A hippie curse. It's a hippie curse! Best of all curses. All right. Whee! All right. So supposedly there's something in the encyclopedia? Oh, there is. Uh, one, one rabbit fur extract and one maple herb abstract. We did have both. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, set the fire to stage three. Do not stir. Okay. So we put that. We put this. Okay, so the ladle... How, okay, we didn't learn how to do that last time because it was already on four, so I didn't have to worry about it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Okay. Can't do that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so do not stir heaven on power of three. Did it. Um, oh, hold down A. <gasps> oh, happy! Eating candy lifts the weakest curses. It's tasting occasionally enjoyed as a snack. Okay. I done it. Shall I give her the curse lifting candy? 
Yes. Would you like to try this? May the blessing of nature be with you. Uh, hello? Yes, hello! A am I speaking properly now? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Wow, thank you so much. To hell with nature. I guess it really was a curse. I could tell you that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right? But I could only praise nature, pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. <laughs> Still, it's glad to, that the curse was easily broken. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Aria. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm a apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on the on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty... Oh, yes. There's a witch's house here. That's good. I have business in the village, too, but the vine stopped me. Nature be damned. I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then, uh, can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. She's not like got a villain voice, she just got a lady voice. <laughs> what do you need? Uh, the tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? Well, I need a glass bottle for extractor and a roaster handle for winding up the roaster. Wait a minute. I'll look for them. Sure. Uh, but Ellie, uh, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think they'll be able to buy the witch's tool with just enough pocket money to buy the snack or two? Uh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Uh, since you have the tools, make and sell the potions or something. You could also sell candies now. Only if there were people to buy them. Oh, I found it. Take this. Uh, how much is this? Oh, never mind. This is re for this is returning for breaking my curse. Oh wow, thank good. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it by next time. I'll sell it to you at a proper price then, however. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, bring it then. Okay, I'll write the roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. The villain boy who acts nice intentionally, but the <laughs> seeking is more and more sadistic. Well, she also just got out of a curse, so she was kind of mad. So I was talking madder about things. You gotta remember, this lady's maybe been cursed for years to only talk about plants. <laughs> Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Oh, thank you. Sure, come back next time. Now we won't be able to fix the- now we'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? That... I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. <laughs> you were doing a damn good job, Major Sensitist. Don't mind me, I'm just writing you down. Uh, 
Pumpkin Terrier? Wait, what? Wait, what? Lives off the pumpkin type plants often. Okay, loves to play. We'll try to play hide and seek if you attempt to collect from them. Try to move the right. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I don't got the right thing on. That's right. Oh. Almost there. Wait, what do you mean you made me restart? I did it! I got some fur! That was a lot of freaking effort to get fur. Wait. Ah, I did it! It's running away. It's like, I'm out. I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright, well, that was effort. All right, well, I guess let's go fix our extractor. Did I use the bottle? Yes. No, I have an extractor. Well, you can finally make potions properly. And what do I do now? Didn't you want to go to the village? You should remove the gigantic prickly vine. That's true, but... It seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make the weed terminator potion, you can get rid of the little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked. A little more, yeah, that's... So, the forest. Yeah, let's look for the forest. There must be something. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so we can make more of the weed removal potions to get rid of some of the other areas that we had access, didn't have access to. Um... Oh, I can hit Y to go here. Okay, there we go. Why is the recipe like an actual recipe, though? That's weird. Um, So we will need the maple herb, I think, and the witch flower? Oh, no, it's the fur. Okay. Because we look here. We go down to, not the curse... Set potion. God, where's oh, there we go? There's the weed. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it was two, two rabbit fur, and one witch flower. Yeah, I want some more witch flower, please. We definitely need more witch flowers. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, it was stage four, do not stir. Stage four, do not stir. Yeah. Easy. So I don't have to change anything. Potion made! Okay. Is there just like, I need like an auto. I would love just to be able to auto move things, you know? I guess I'll just keep that in there. I can't do anything over here, right? Yeah, it's pretty useless now. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay, and that's obviously useless currently, too. Alright, so the question is, where was that other area we found? Also, it's getting late. <gasps> ah! A crow? Witch. Ah. It spoke. 
It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow. The witch returns, the witch returns. This is my first time coming here though. The witch returns. Not exactly a listener, is he? Good and service is ka. Good and service is witch's catalog. The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards High Lion, young lady. Oh, but I I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find a village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to High Lion. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Ka. Try the witch's catalog. Try the witch's catalog. <gasps> They're handing out gifts as well. Oh, plus it's limited time only. Ah, gift. Multiple purpose glue. Kitchen accessories. A spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. Oh, I made the, the weed one. I made the weed potion. To buy ingredients and potion recipes from them. All right, let's register for it now. Thank you, Ka. Thank you. Visit the vi employee. Visit employee. Ka, visit employee. When? Work finished. Work finished. Closed for the day. Closed for the day. <laughs> okay. So, suddenly? Though it's not easy getting a message across to the witch's crows. Hmm. I guess I should try to keep searching for the village. You never know when the witch's catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. Okay. Because there was another area that we hit that had the that had the same issue. I also need more of those flowers. Oh yeah, here's one. Yeah, which is flowers. Ooh, yeah, here's here's some more. So they kind of respawn in the same places it seems like. <gasps> Virgil, look at that. It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. You better get rid of it before it grows anymore. What? I'm not even a gardener. Why? <laughs> you must get rid of it before it gets to a new place since we haven't... We haven't been behind there. Oh, I guess it can't be helped to get to a new place. I guess I should make the weed terminator potion. I already done it. <laughs> a witch's life. Gather ingredients, process them, and do the things. Yes, 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 I know. I'm already here. I've I've done the things. Okay. Um. Yeah, that seems better. Come on. Move enough for me to get by. Eh. <laughs> a bunkin? It's a bunkin. I don't have a net. I can't catch the butterfly. I don't know what rocks are for. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's like an old bridge there. Oh, green forest waterfall. Can't go there. Okay. I don't seem I don't think I have the ability to jump currently. Okay. And this is just up to yeah, the tree. Which is the whole reason we're stuck here. <laughs> Yeah, we've opened up over here now. <gasps> Foxy! How do I save you? I'm coming! Oh! Oh wow, 
Virgil. There's someone stuck in a spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I, I don't know. Um. Ah! Oh, they woke up. Who? I'm Ellie, a, a apprentice witch. Uh, a witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. <laughs> my name is Rubrum. Rub Rubrum? I guess Rubrum. <laughs> it's a weird, weird thing to say. I live in the village with my grandma. Oh, but now I'm stuck in a big spider web. Uh, he doesn't seem to understand the gravity of his situation. A big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. <gasps> you be quiet! Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with the spider webs, Ellie. At least it's not red. <laughs> it looks pretty strong. One wrong move and you might be stuck in it yourself. Then what do I do? The maple herb works best against insects. Uh, just one maple herb should be enough. If it's maple herb, I'll, I'll, I'll have it. Like this? Oh! Aw, are you okay? Uh, yeah, uh, probably. Uh, can you walk? Oh, okay. Well, uh, then let's get to the witch's house together. <gasps> oh, we have a friend! Oh, Yay! I have a bee! I have a bee! Come, friend, I saved you! Oh god, where's the way out? Oh god, please move out of the way! This must protect! Must protect the door! <gasps> she could check on him! What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you hurt? I I can't walk because I hurt my my legs hurt. Well, you'll probably you're probably up there for too long. Then I'll give you a hug. Or give you treatment at the witch's house. Uh, okay. Oh, I must protect little boy. I protect. Okay, which, where's the witch's house? Hold on. Oh no, I can't look at the sign at night. Oh dear. Um. Um. Oh dear. He's heavy. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> I can't look at the map. <laughs> Um, this way? Isn't it heavy? H of course. Really? Just stop talking. Oh. I know, yeah, my arms are too full of fox to do anything. Oh god, I hope I'm going the right way. I should not be trusted. Oh, thank god. Okay. Uh, our, our, our village is just a little further from here. But you can't take the pass through now because of the prickly vines. Well, let's go to the, the witch's houses for now and find a way. Yeah. Oh, I protect. I protect. Uh, we're here. Oh, wow. A witch's house. Thanks. Dova, get out of here! Bad Nova! <laughs> Bad Nova! <laughs> the gas all around. What have you turned? Are you freaking turned into. <laughs> For a moment, I didn't even realize it was freaking. Nova that said it. I almost went like, Nerf, how dare you? <laughs> it wasn't even Nerf this time. <laughs> I almost blamed, I almost blamed Nerf for that, <laughs> that comment. I'm so used to him telling me to eat everything. Oh, okay, hold on. One sec, dude. I'll be back. I re I've realized something.
One, let's move all this stuff. I think I can put this in the other one. Oh, he doesn't need both ears. No, he needs to be protected. He is my kin. We don't eat my, oh, really? This recipe can't go in here, only books. Okay, we're saving. I'm saving to protect little boy. All right, I should probably sleep. All right. Ugh. You just woke up. Why do you look dead already? I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. It seemed like something important. Like the principal sermon? That's something I don't want to think about again. <laughs> How's your leg? Well, it still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Whoa. Really? I'll make sure that you get back to your own village, don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg first. Uh, rub rum, wait here for a moment. Right. Okay. What do I, I guess I have something to heal? You and I will eat you right here to see how you look. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the threats are being the threats are being thrown down today. <laughs> we protect our little fox kin. <laughs> I mean if you wanna find out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that was the first. And then the only other ones we have are like way back here. Used when fleeing from dangerous animals. Okay. A uh, potion that glows softly in the moonlight. That's the weird one. Um, purse lifting candy, cough candy, back scratcher candy. <laughs> yeah, don't ever take Duke seriously. <laughs> Never take Duke seriously. <laughs> limits except for witches. <laughs> I am not one of those witches, though. I'm not one of those witches. Okay, so I don't... Oh, what? Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Heal... R r how? <laughs> oh my god, look at the freaking, like, little drawing of them. That's cute. Okay. Um... Oh my god, I just use it. I'm an idiot. I'm I'm an idiot. As 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 an idiot, it was literally I just used the recipe. <laughs> a mint flavored candy for kids. Be sure to store it on high shelves in a tin since it can be addictive. <laughs> okay, so it is witch flower extract and maple herb extract. Okay. Oh, right. I have to... Back over here. Maple herb. And it was witch flower, wasn't it? Yeah, witch flower. Alright, let's make this. I like ducks. 
I like all creatures except snakes. <laughs> Fuck snakes. I don't like it when they don't got legs. <laughs> creatures need legs, man. Okay, stir the rate uh, stir the ladle right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um Considered stirring to the right. <laughs> Righty clockwise. Okay, clockwise? Okay. So this one? Oh no. No, oh god, I'm I'm hitting the wrong buttons. This one. That's clockwise. Oh my god. <laughs> my brain couldn't remember clockwise either. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's how that's how the thing works. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Is this right? Is this right? <gasps> Yay, it was a happy face! Yay, healing candy. I did it. <laughs> oh, God. I just was literally being like, what is that considered? <laughs> I'm like, what is, what is turning to the right? Okay. Wow. What's this? I is it candy? Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg. Well, thanks. It, it looks delicious. Oh, it is delicious. Uh, oh, this tastes awful. It's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. Oh, thanks, Ellie. Oh, the candy tastes awful. So how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. But time flew by and then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. Oh, it must have been the one that I was riding. I went towards the train and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. It must have, oh, it must have been that bird, not the train. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was that bird. I went into the I went into a deep place as I was running away. Then I found a treasure map and got caught in a spider web as I was trying to pick it up. <gasps> treasure map? I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. <gasps> Shall we go and check? What about the giant prickly vine? Oh well, we can't do much about that yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Ellie, can I follow you too? Oh, wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Oh, okay, fine. But be careful. Okay, thanks. Oh my god. I have a venture buddy? Oh no, I don't have an adventure buddy. Wow. Wow. I just looked over and just saw what you guys were doing. Uh, <laughs> Street Jeff saves him. Gives him strange candy. Yep, he's doing <laughs> it. This is not Hansel and Gretel. There's no Hansel and Gretel going on here. Alright, come on, buddy. He's really slow, though. I kind of wish he stayed home. <laughs> oh, no, not here. This way. I'm having troubles finding where I need to go here. <gasps> Hold on. Stop everything. No! 
I wanted to write you! Okay. It's fine. <gasps> Shit. But how do you get close to these guys? <gasps> I've done it! A sprout bird. Common bird found in the green forest. Sprouts and heads shrivel up to the blooms of flower. They drop the flower behind. Should you scare them away? <gasps> oh. Okay, so you have to scare them when their flower is bloomed? Oh, look, we made it back. Oh, the spider web is just like gone completely. Okay. This is my son! Leave my son alone! Stop trying to eat him! I'm gonna love him forever! He's my little buddy! We don't have the right chalk. Then why did I... <laughs> why did I come here if it was all... Oh! A boom potion?! I even went into a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design for a symbol of luck, right? <sighs> the important thing now is I have something to blow this <laughs> blow things up with. And also something to blow up. You're super excited. Shall we try it right away? Uh-oh. Hey, hey. I was, I was healing him. Medicine never tastes good. <laughs> what are you talking about? Medicine never tastes good. I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting into trouble? Hey, what do you take me for? Boom potion? Don't you feel... Almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Something. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. But don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in the secluded forest? Someone might have been hiding it thinking that it's treasure like Rubrum. This is glass all strong <laughs> Or someone might have just spilled it. The boom potion? Uh, I don't know. The important thing now is that we have a boom potion and it's in my hands. Go, boom potion. Wow, it didn't even budge. It must have been stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are these fragments coming out of it? Huh, where? Around its feet. Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit, but the vines appear to have grown back pretty quickly. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm. Well, oh, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's go show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Hello? <gasps> Personal stories from our little buddy? Okay. Okay. Any interesting stories? I like playing in the forest. But you must be careful when you're playing in the forest. Why? Because you might end up like this again. <laughs> Holly, what kind of tea do you like? <gasps> I like a, a, a nice... I like a, I like a tea. Let's be honest. I like an aromatic tea. I like tea that has a fragrant aroma. Well, butter flower tea is a nice... A, a, a romant- a romantic one? Wow, words. I, I give up. I give up on words. Oh, I think it will smell good indeed. 
I like I like tea and I cannot lie. Alright. So, so yeah, let's ask about the prickly vine. Is this the prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. You happen to know something about it? No, I, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> You have a shop? I have tea brewed yet. Any interesting? <laughs> Wait, so at some point we could get tea from, from, I guess when he's back home. Hey, Aura. Aurea? I don't know, whatever you, whatever you want to call her. Do you know anything about this? Oh, is this the fragment of the prickly vine? Yes, that's right. Do you know something? Oh, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. Have something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? Oh, it's a tool made by some witches. With the power of the moon, of the moonstone enabled here, you can find out the identity of an object. Really? Then hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse... I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great. All right, here it goes. Huh? What? Uh, the prickly vine fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Uh, maybe because of the grudge against your- maybe because of the grudge against nature? <laughs> no, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and an analyzes the reflected light. There's no plants that get killed by moonlight, right? Plant that gets killed by moonlight. Ugh, it seems like something coming into my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now. Avoiding the moon, the plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right, this prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. Uh, I think I've already heard of plants like that. I'm glad that this tool is working fine. Oh, well, thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. Oh, I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Okay, bye. But I can't make that moon potion. Search the drawers in the witch's house for information about the moon flower. Okay. Is there anything else we haven't written about? <laughs> Didn't want to actually say <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oops. Like, where? Like, in the workplace? Like, down here somewhere? understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Do I just explore? Because we still can't read this. Um, I don't know what this, what kind of text this is. Okay, nope, still doesn't remember. Because it says to check search drawers in the witch's house to find information on Moonflower. Do you freaking mean? I thought I've touched everything I could touch. Let's leave. 
I guess I could save. <laughs> Keep saving just in case something breaks. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we just look at the thing. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out. All right, let's get this started. The moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much word. work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course, we're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about Moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter Grape Tea Tree. Bitter Grape Tea Tree? That's a tree that we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glowing came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm. The tea leaves blah blah blah. Tastes like grape. Strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah blah blah. It also is famous for its flowers. The Moonflower. Moonflower, so it was here. There's still more information. Hmm. It gathers moonlight most of the time, and on the moonless nights, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around it. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom. Yes, it is commonly used method back in Lothrinotro. Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies. Shoo them away and collect the moonflowers. Okay. <laughs> blue moon blooms and loon. No, we don't need another word to that. <laughs> oh, we don't need more. We don't need more added to the, the, the saloon. Uh, oh, I don't know if you were, if you were here yesterday, but, um, speaking of, uh, Sandrock, it is now out on early access for all you guys who didn't know. <laughs> cause I don't think Bloom is in there. I guess cause we were trying to kind of keep with in ones. The Blue Moon, High Noon, Swoon, Lagoon, Cartoon, Kaboom, Gone Boom, Baboon, Cocoon, Balloon, Harpoon, Prune, Strewn, Hewn, Rune, Loon, Dune, Maroon, Spoon, Autotune, Immune, Pontoon, Afternoon, Splatoon, <laughs> Doubloons, Saloon. You're welcome. <laughs> Here you go. Uh... And, and Duke is just having a TED talk about witches, <laughs> which I don't know if any of us are paying attention to. <laughs> um, but yeah, speaking of Sandrock, it is now in early access and they have voice acting. There's voice acting now. I just wanted to give this game a try because I do feel kind of bad that we're like having to replay a game that I literally just played like last week. <laughs> So I, I did want to play at least one, a game that's actually new and, and different. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of the butterflies, make the lunar oil, and remove the prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so the sunlight potion should work. All right, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. Okay. I concur. This game is super cute. Yeah! This game is super cute. I find it interesting, and I think witches are cool and don't like the negative connotations. Well, a lot of the negative connotations of it came from people just being, like, scared of what it could be. <laughs> it's a lot of, like, lies and people just being scared. <laughs> it's just a why don't you clean it? it? Bothers me. Just clean it. Okay. So, do I have that potion? Cause this is the moonlight one. 
Ah, sunlight one. Okay, here we go. Um, which flower, maple herb, and then, okay. Which flower, maple herb, and rabbit. Ooh, I think we just have enough witch flower too. And her and maple herb. Wow, that really lucked out. I'm gonna have to pull hair off of some poor rabbits again. <laughs> okay. actually letting me move the extracts now. Okay, that's cool. Oh. Uh, stage five right. Okay. Stage five right. So make that five and clockwise is right. Right is clockwise. Clockwise is right. That's clockwise, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. A sunlight potion! Nice. Woohoo! The sunlight potion is ready. Well, let's go to the tree right away. Ellie, uh, the lunar oil is. Oh, don't worry, I already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Do you really want to go now? Do you. Uh, did you do everything you want to do? yet? So have stuff to do. Stop wasting time. We're done. Let's talk up to Rurum and go. What? Why did it give me that? Why did it give me that? Are you sure you're ready? What? Um. Okay, I was about to say. I can't talk to him because he's standing on the thing. Well... But I don't have phoenix flowers. Okay, what, what's, okay, hold on. Hold on. I guess we're going. I, I don't know any other reason not to. Are you gonna go to the peak now? Yeah. All right, let's go now. Okay. Right, stuck to the tree as six, as expected. Oh wow, there's a ton of shining butterflies. You're going to make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's bright. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Uh, where are those butterflies going? Oh, wow, the voice just went real wrong. It's not the right voice. Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? Uh, but the flower. Oh, over there, over there. It's so beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. Now we just have to pick up the moonflower and make lunar oil. Uh, Rudrum, can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come back as soon as the moon oil is ready. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting in front of the vines. We, but we don't have phoenix, or did do we? All right, let's go to the dispensary now. Should make the lunar's oil. Uh, Ellie, I hope you haven't for you, I hope you haven't forgotten. In order to oil, you need phoenix feather. There's no way you can find a phoenix around here. We have a phoenix feather feather right here. You told me all about it earlier. What? 
Ellie, um, that's not a good idea. If we do that, we not may we may not be able to get back on the train. We not we may not be able to make it to High Li High Lion. A witch is always ready to help, starting with one who needs it the most. That again. You just like it here better. Well, of course. You just like it in you just <laughs> you just don't like the witch's house in High Lion. That's true. Stop being childish. You're going to regret it later. No, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. You have to be smart about this. Ugh. <laughs> we just used our train ticket? <laughs> Great. I have all the ingredients now. Ellie. You're worse than Aria sometimes. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. That wasn't a compliment. All right, now let's make the lunar oil. All right. So we're giving up. We're giving up our train ticket to make this. All right, what do I need? Stage one, do not stir. Okay. Oops. So do not stir. Lunar oil! It's expensive due to the rare ingredients. Let's see. Woohoo! Oh, the lunar oil is ready. Let's get rid of that prickly vine now. I'm here! Let's get rid of the prickly... Let's hurry and get rid of these annoying vines. Um, huh? Did, did you happen to suffer somehow because of me? Oh, don't worry about that. This was my choice and I really wanted to do it. And well, this is my choice. Oh, thanks, Ellie. It's, it's no big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you going to stay here? Yeah, I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. R really? Really? Keep up the good work, Rubrum. Okay, keep up the good work too, Ellie. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. Uh, okay, see you in a bit. Yeah. But acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not saying st try not saying stuff that makes me sound like a bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all. If I have fun and they're happy, isn't it? Will the teachers get angry? Like mother, like daughter, that's what they'll say. Oh, well, that's great. I already told you, it's not a compliment. All right, let's head to the village now. I have finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's, it's a village. Oh, what kind of village would it be? Oh, I hope a lot of fun things will happen there. There would be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. Uh, it's quite a dull sight. Virgil, how's the village? How's the village that you have to stay in for three years? You feel like going back to the High Lion again? What the heck happened here? What's with the evil prickly vine? Oh, I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. And... Something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see prickly vines growing only on houses. No, it's not. That's not what I meant. I feel like I've been here before for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch school picnic. 
Something feels familiar. Well, let's find Rubrum first. Okay. Holy moly. Nothing but ruins here as well. Peddler's visits from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wow. So what? There's only one house that... Holy shit. Oh no, there's two houses, because he's here. Okay, so maybe there's two houses? I'm getting creative for here again. A lot of potion. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of potion chucking happening around here. <laughs> the hat just wanted a simple life and is apparently owned by two witches with ADD. <laughs> I know. Oh, I like that the 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 hat is already ripped and everything too. And if I move my, if, oh god, oh no, I broke me. I broke me. I just wanted to show you. See, the hat's got a rip in it. <laughs> here, I just put myself right here. I just put myself right here. I'm watching you all. <laughs> Lily! Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay, I'll move myself first. But yeah, if you see, you can't normally see this. It's bad. I'm also covering up where it says the um. See right there, right, 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 right there. Where it says the early access. I'm also covering that up. But I don't want to cover up thumb. I don't know what to do. We can't take you seriously, down. This is this is this is you know, this is work great, right? <laughs> Yes. Wait, wait, hold on. Ah. Oh, it's just. <laughs> I'm just. I'm in the center of stream. <laughs> I just don't know where to put me. No matter what I do, I'm covering something up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back over here. Oh, I don't need to be so high. Eh. Okay. But yeah, you can't see the little thing on the hat, but that's fine. But yeah, her, her hat actually has like a cut taken out of it and they try to sew it back up. It's really cute. Oh, Ellie. Oh, right. I have to click on the game again. It doesn't like when I, when I click off of the window. Uh, thank you for helping me get home. That's nothing special. But it really looks like no one in the... the, the wow. <clears throat> It really looks like there's no one in the village. Yeah, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we only have Uncle Arden in my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it's okay because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. And there's also a lot of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yeah, she's the village chief. She's the village chief? Well, they say not in, not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Okay, take care. If her, if his fucking grandma is dead. Okay. Uh, that's not a fox. Um, your your grandma's not a fox. Um, oh my god, are you an orphan? Oh no, you guys have been wanting to eat an orphan! Wow, I hope you guys feel proud of yourselves. <laughs> I hate to tell you kid, but you're adopted! A welcome, witch. You've been- you've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. Oh no, I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different different from their age. All right, I shall, sh I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I am Annette. 
chief of the village. Even though both of the both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened to, in this village? What are those what are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? Yes, I saw the houses covered in prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow and all, all in a sudden and destroyed the house one by one. Why didn't the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? Actually, there were already prickly vines growing in the village. The white prickly vines at the village entrance were the ones originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first, they were saying things like God's punishment, monster, or witch's curse. I like at the moment she starts talking about it being like a curse or a punishment. Look at the freaking look on Ellie's face. <laughs> Wipe the drool off your- <laughs> Wipe off your drool, Ellie. This is a serious story. <laughs> well, there were a lot of rumors, but no one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden, without any explanation. Uh, what happened to the villagers? No one was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for plant and not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people had no place to live anymore and left the f left the village nebly. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Oh, don't worry now, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Well, thank you so much for saying that. But it's too late now. What? All of the houses have ruined already and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets are protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should leave now. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go. What? I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want. But leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen. High Lion is boring as hell. Virgil, bad word. <laughs> Ellie. There are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who had left would want to come back. Even if the prickly vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. But Ellie, people left and the time has passed. I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. No, they would definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating your entire life, Nate. I can't let the village get away by those get taken away by those prickly those weird prickly vines. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, but Whew. let's go to sleep for today. Talk again tomorrow. I'm, you look tired too. Rub Rum looks like he needs rest as well. Okay, don't scold Rub Rum too much. Yeah, okay, get some rest. You too. Okay. So can we meet this other person? Oh, they like got a thing on their door. Closed. I guess it's a restaurant. This house looks fine. A restaurant in the village like this. Can you do business in a place like this? Well, they probably used to do business in a place like this. All right, I guess I go home. What are you trying to do? That is right, it requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there is no houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. 
How can you be so sure? This is your first time in this village. If you're just being ri you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where did you hear it? You didn't see a villager. That... I don't know. Maybe I heard it in my dream. That's absurd. No. It's absurd. No, it isn't! It's a village that Anit has lived in for her, all her life. Other people would have also loved the village as much as Anit. You know. You also just met Anit for the first time. I can tell even if we had met for the first time that, there, that this is some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the house even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. You're right, Virgil. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. The first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly, <laughs> could fly if possible. It would be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have you should have a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. <sighs> Stop being sarcastic. Okay, we're going home. What, what what happens if you oh this one doesn't even work that one's like dead <gasps> okay it's a bush bug the problem is we don't have a net we need a net so at night time... Oh, I can draw this too. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we haven't drawn yet. That's just a shake. Okay, fine. I was cheatily trying to find more things that I could draw, but it really wants me to go home. <laughs> it really wants me to go to sleep. It's like, come on, go to sleep, stop it. Okay. Let's take a nappy nap. Oh, I didn't dream of the of the cat this time. Did you meet the flying carpenter? I don't know, it seems like I did have a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something, since this is the first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. Are you ready to start your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course. Do you know what to do? Let me ask Anit and things first. Although, she'll naturally approve. It will start from the moment she approves. We'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the prickly vines. Remember that we don't have any phoenix feathers left. It will work out somehow. Let's go to an eat first. Oop, we saved. Oh, hi! Dina? Dina? Oh, hello! This is the witch's catalog that gives you the most expensive products at the best prices. This is... I guess Dina? Diana? I don't know. Di Diana? Is it Di Diana? I don't know. Uh, Green Wind, who brings happiness? Nice to, nice to meet you. Uh, yes, hello, I'm, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Yes, nice to meet you, Ellie. Oh, I must help you t wow Wh what must i help with you today oh you're registering for the first time uh yeah that's right oh it must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalog just a minute okay thank you for waiting 
So I need to see the master witch before registering. Is she inside? Me the master witch? Yes, I need the master witch's signature to register in the witch's catalog. Oh, that's, um, I'm... A L E. Uh huh. Rolling around while I'm out. You didn't forget to register with them. Ah, uh, oh, oh no, I didn't forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the master witch is in some place else now. Are you talking through that hat? Yeah, yeah, yes. Stay quiet, Ellie. You unfinished dumb hat of a, of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the witch's catalog employee comes. I I'm sorry, I was just about to tell you. Oh, sure. Then I guess Ellie can just sign instead because the ma because the master witch is here. You'll also receive a gift if you join now. Whoa, a gift? What is it? A witch's broom that's easy to use. <gasps> a witch's broom? Finally. Well, you can just sign here and here. Okay, just a minute. Oh, uh, yes, that's it. I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Would you like to hear it? I guess. <laughs> uh, yes, please explain. Every morning, the witch's catalog employee will come. In this case, it will be me. I'm planning to be here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can just purchase the items you need from me during that time. We do not accept gold coins, only accept Luna coins. Uh, what is that thing called Luna Coin? A Luna Coin is the currency used in the witch society. It is called Luna Coin because it is made of the ore with the power of the moon. Don't you already know that since you were here, you were also raised in the witch society, Ellie? Uh, I think, I think I learned it in school. I just don't think I, I think I call my money something else in my life. Uh, after all, only Luna Coins have been used in witch society. But how do I learn earn Luna coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna coins. What? Basically, yes. Ah, oh, the witch administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incident. Please let us know at any time since we purchase re regardless of the type. Okay, so we can sell potions for Luna coins. All right, got it. And there's also a special potion delivery service. And every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You can select one out of the three of the listing provided and deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, oh, don't lose this nice opportunity. Uh, okay. So do you have any more questions? No, not anymore. All right, then feel free to talk to me if you need anything. Um, yes, go ahead. The, the gift. Oh, right. I'll give it to you now. Hey, we got a witch's broom. Wow, thank you. Finally, my own witch's broom. Oh, hit B to ride. Have a nice day. This has been Diana Greenwind of the Witch's Catalog. You think it went well? It looks like the urgent fire is out. How is my acting skill? You? I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was all an act being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. I told you I'm good at acting. No, not your poor acting, but the fact that the Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the Witch's house. We couldn't just have an Apprentice Witch. Can't you just keep acting? How long will it work? And there's still the matter of the witch who had originally, who was originally here at this witch's house. It would be nice if we had known who that witch is. The witch who was originally here could be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Let's deliver the potions with the broom for now. You need to get to innate. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, there's no need for that urgency. All right. A strange dream. There's an apprentice and you can choose to do so. Okay. Oh, Diana. Hmm. Diana? Grunt. Diana! 
Hello, this is the witch's catalog that gives you the most in inexperienced products at the best prices. This is Diana with Bring You Happiness. Oh, it's you, Ellie. Welcome. I'm sorry that was unprofessional of me. Did something happen? Hmm. I'm not sure it's okay to tell you this since we just met. But what is it? Maybe I can help? Hmm. Ellie, do you remember that potion purchase service? Yes. Recently, there have been several reports of bad potions. Trust in the witch's catalog, potions quality, the trust in the administration. As a result, as the administration issued a notice to each catalog salesperson to test these suspicious potions. The problem is, is the witch's house... Oh god, the witch's house... Houses I'm in charge of are related to the suspicious potions. As you know, Ellie, potion quality is a matter of witch's confidence. You can't do it yourself. I need a witch to accompany me with the test for certification. If it's all right, may I ask for your help? It's a small reward, but I made some... Um, Nebulicla cupcakes. I love it, cupcakes? My mom would always buy one for me on the weekend if it... But I've been good for the week. So naturally, I've hardly had any so far. All right, I'll help. Thank you. Please take this first. Uh, potion that temporarily supply a large amount of nutrition to a plant. And... A bird cage? To start testing as soon as possible, I caught a sprout bird. You can throw the nutrition potion to the sprout bird. When the results appear, please gather them and and take a look. Then I'll record the details like the date, weather, time, and wind direction, etc. Also, please let me know if you make a bad throw. You're very serious about this. Okay. It's weird that I'm like now like it's like really giving me a tutorial about this. Oh. One, two, three, four. Four new flowers have bloomed. Hmm. Moderate temperature, mild wind, and low humidity. Great. Fortunately, the potion here seems to have normal. It went well, right? Yes, we can relax now. As at least one of them is normal. This is a reward I promised you. Cakes. Okay, so we got some cupcakes. Hooray! I request this as a test this time, but uh, using potions to collect will be much more convenient. It is a saying that witch's house, which supplies the most potions every year, uses just as much. Tips about using potions can be found in the encyclopedia. Oh, if fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. I see. Again, thank you for your help. Have a nice day, Ellie! Oh, nice. I get to have all the bird flowers? Oh, heck yeah. I pretty much got some free bird flowers out of that. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Ellie. My goal is to, get in, is to get off work on time. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you can do like the potion and turn in a potion. Personal stories? Dana Greenwind. I'm currently working for the Witch's Catalog Department of the Witch Administration. What does the Witch... Witch, witch am, Administration do words? Words are hard now. We manage and distribute the finances and produce of the Witch Society. The Witch's House and the Witch's Catalog are also important functions of the Witch Administration. Wow, that's impressive. It is, isn't it? The Witch Administration is a department that employs the largest number of witches. And it's the only building where indoor flights are allowed. Wow, being able to ride a broom inside a building sounds really fun. Not when flying a broom knocks you out while you're blinded by a flying sandwich. It sounds like there's a lot of stuff flying. Be wary of the flying encyclopedia. It is w <laughs> This is what we say all the time. It's very heavy and if you evade it at first, the second and third might hit you. I've always been in <laughs> avoiding encyclopedias too. Do books even fly at school for witches? No, I just don't want to read. My goal is to get off of work on time. 
Do you need anything? Uh, yeah, I want to see what's in the catalog, please. Okay. So we have six points. We Or coins or whatever. Oh, chalk is expensive. But I could buy a net. I feel like I need net. Net sounds important. I'm buying the net. Thanks. No, I just want to go now. Thank you. So how do I equip the net? Use. Use. Tiptoe. You can tiptoe by holding down... Oh, you do walk slower! Tipping toe. Our right, boost is. Woohoo! <laughs> oh! oh, I'm hitting things. Ah! Oh, can I not? Oh, no, I can. Woohoohoo! Wait, what's wrong with this? Looks like you need to dig the broom's grave for the 14th, for the 12th time. It's not it. The durability is just low. I barely wrote it, too. Well, what can you expect from a free gift? I think there's a good workbench at the workplace. I can fix it there. All I need is a branch or a mud. Oh, did my broom already break? Oh, my broom already broke! <laughs> Look how slow I am now. Okay, okay. Hi! Tick-tock, tick-tock for a long time. Tick-tock, tick-tock for with Grandpa. Any interesting stories? Goodbye. Okay, so nothing new. Can I go? Can I mess with anything here? Their house is really cute. He's now acting like a five-year-old, and I'm very worried. He, he, I, I'm, I'm assuming he's a very young child. <laughs> I definitely gave him the right voice because he's now he's now acting like he's like three years old, and I'm very confused. Why would they let let like a three year old go out? <laughs> what are you? What are you? You a? I would assume a crocodile, but I don't think crocodiles. Are you full on? Are you full on wagon? Uh, you're a witch. Uh, yes, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Arden, a dragon and a cook. Ah, he is a dragon. Did you help, Rum Rum? You're pretty kind. I don't mention it. Are you going to stay here? Uh, I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Normally, you wouldn't see one. Even Mom said that she suddenly met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure, but you're a real dragon. I never thought I would meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Such dragons have no reason to mingle with humans. I think I was like that, too. I can't tell you the reason, even if I... If you were to look at me with your own eyes... Because I don't remember now. It's kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry. Although it's not usually- it's usually not for free. Okay, sure. This is for helping Rub Rum. Take it since it's free. Hey. Oh, thank you. I'll enjoy it. It's the last one remaining. What's going on? Okay. I'm a dragon. Right. I'm also a cook. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't told me. Then what more do you want to know? Well, why is the dragon working as a cook? Um, well, I forgot. How can you forget that? I guess it just wasn't so important. That doesn't seem so. 
How would you know when I even forgot? Because you're a dragon. Correct. And also a cook. Well, of course. <sighs> What's the problem? The problem is that you forgot. <laughs> what do you know about dragons? I know as much as I as what I learned from school. I didn't study any further. What do you know? That they live for thousands of years as a giant lizard that breathes fire from their mouths. You know a lot. Isn't that right? It is quite an honor. I was quite the honor student. But you don't know anything. What do you mean? A dragon doesn't live a thousand years. But isn't it called a thousand year dragon? Because it's life's- because it lives for a thousand years? We don't live one particular life for a thousand years. It lives many lives. What's the difference? Figure it out yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, so dragons are kind of like cats. <laughs> the joke that cats have nine lives, so they're saying they have a, a, a thousand lives? Or something? Do you hate witches? Correct. Why? I have bad memories. Didn't the witches at the didn't the witch at the witch's house help? I think I've received help from her many times. Then those are good memories. Hmm. I guess so. Right? I still don't like them though. Then what about me? I'm also a witch. Come to think of it, I guess you are. You don't like me? I can't say whether I like you or not. It hasn't been a long since I first met you. It depends on what you do. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, so shop. So he just sells beef stew for money. But we don't have any of that money. Okay. Alright, let's leave. Let's go. We have to go find the one lady. I have a broken broom that's not going to do me any good. Oh, hey, she's in here now. Did you see what I done, Cease? <gasps> Welcome! Long time no see. It hasn't been that long either. Is that so? Perhaps. Because it's been a while since I've been here. Did you remove them, the prickly vines? Uh, yeah, it's nothing special. Is that so? You're humble. But you did really well. This village has been really gloomy for the past few years. I'm just getting started. That's a big start, because the hope that was gradually disappearing started to come to life. So never give up on this village. Okay, don't worry. I'll never give up on it, no matter what happens. You sound reliable. Uh, by the way, do you happen to bring the thing that you promised last time? Of course. Are you talking about the econ melon? <laughs> no! You promised the roaster handle to you to use for the roaster. I'm kidding, of course I brought it. But since this guy broke his leg, I don't think I can bring proper pro products for a while. Oh, really? Oh, I feel sorry for him. Thank you for your concern, but don't worry. It will get better soon. The thing on sale would be trivial things. Instead, I have to. I have a good offer for each, for each other. Do you want to hear it? Uh, sure, what is it? As you can see, since Wisteria is not an environment that brings good products. I'll make it better soon! Yes, but I didn't mean it in that way. However, there is a good witch here, and I want to use the witch to our advantage. Is there such a witch here? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can't see- <laughs> I can't see even from up here! I'm pretty confident with my eyes whether it might be a person or a thing. So, Ellie, I want to leave the work to you. What do you think? Naturally, you'll have to receive proper wages, since good things deserve good prices. <gasps> really? For me? Really? For her? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'll ask for the potion or animal and plant gathering here. How does that sound? Oh, of course, I like it. Naturally, I will also look at the quality of the products properly. That's because good things deserve good prices. 
Listen carefully, Ellie. It means a bad price for bad products. Just like the talking hat said. Therefore, it's Virgil. Uh, it's Virgil, the hat that deserves a bad price. <laughs> hat that deserves a bad price. That's so mean. Keep up the good work, Ellie and Virgil. Okay, well, we'll work hard. Then, can I talk about work right away? Of course. Since I'm not a witch, I can only sell... I only sell the candies that can be used by non-witches. Since I basically buy them all at the time, come and buy them any time. And you do need a lot of potions from time to time. Can you make ten healing candies in just one day? Well, that's kind of hard. Isn't it? I also have to talk to a person who buys it. If I need that many potions, I'll tell you one day in advance. In this case, I'll be able to buy it for a more expensive price than usual. Wow, that's nice. Instead, you must deliver afterwards making a prom after making a promise. That's because trust is important. If you think you can't because the other because of other things, just say you can't. Okay. So, can I ask for one right away? Let's see here. I need two healing healing candy by tomorrow. Okay. All right. I also have I'll also have it ready by tomorrow. Please note that delivery is possible until tomorrow because promises are important. Do you need anything? Uh no. Okay. I just wanted to see what was up. All right. Anit or Enit and Enit, I don't know. Hello Anit. I'm just going to say Anit for now. <laughs> Anit maybe. Hello, Ellie. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday, but I'm still not sure. The villagers! Yeah, you mean they would want to come back, right? I don't know why you're more confident than me when I live my whole life in this village. Even so, I've decided to believe in that happy thought. <gasps> really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who is living in that house. But if that resident refuses... Oh, don't worry, because it won't happen. Ellie, you are so nice. Everything will be fine. Do not worry. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So, who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter in order to fix the house. Of course. The house in the upper left from the center fountain of the village belongs to Kayla, who is a carpenter. Then it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kayla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I will try to contact Kayla. I'll leave it to me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. All right, let's get this started. Uh, keep in mind that we don't have information, nor do we have a phoenix. Uh, the first thing to do is to collect information. Let's look around Kayla's house once and collect information. Let's think about the phoenix better. Phoenix later. Would that be okay? Okay. So we need to make some healing potions. Uh, well, healing candy, I guess. So, the healing candy took witch flower and maple leaves. Okay. Oh my god, his voice is like slowly turning into my voice. I am slowly starting to talk like this. <laughs> and I start talking like that too long. It, 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 like sticks. It, like sticks and I just start talking like that. Alright, excuse me, I'm looking for things. Don't mind me. Here we go. Oh, I have to. Yeah, because I need more witch flowers if I'm going to do that one thing. Oh, this is the way out. Oop. Don't mind me, rabbits. Um, just- oop, there we go. Nope, can't go here. 
All right, trying to remember like which door actually leads to something and which doesn't. Did I? Okay, okay, okay. I kind of see it. Like up here? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I just need to hit it. I just need to run into it when it makes that noise. I'm trying, but it's not working very well. Alright. Um. Yeah, over here has a bunch of these plants. has one of those you need to have the one thing out for the flower thing to even start I don't get how that works net is not not very good capability for me so far <laughs> there was like a button oh nope that's not that's definitely not the button I was trying to see if there was a button to like look at the map outside of looking at the thing in the middle So we nice. All right, so we've we've learned how to catch bugs, at least. We can come down here and make the candy. Okay, let's move the rest of these. All right. And then back over here. Actually, move those back over. Okay. At some point, we learn how to make like multiple of these at once instead of having to do it one at a time. It looks like as we collect things, we learn how to make their extracts with like out a problem, which is kind of nice. All right, so stage four, turn to the clockwise. So, stage four, clockwise. I 
we're gonna make a second one of these. Okay. This is not for the fox. This is for uh, Hate Nature Lady. <laughs> Hate Nature Lady asked for um, asked for stuff for monies. She said up until tomorrow, so I should be able to give it to her now, shouldn't I? I hope she's. Also, I was supposed to use the craft table to fix my broom, and I didn't. Now I'm walking here on foot. What have I done? Also, I have a healing potion. You can use them. Well, I guess you can use the healing potion. Um. Yeah, delivery. There you go. Hey, I got money. Beautiful. Okay. So we have a bunch of money now. At least that money. We need to get a bunch of money from... From what's-her-face? Diana or Dina or whatever her name is. Oh my god, is he over here in the sand plane? Oh, I fell and he got sad! Oh, that was cute. Okay. Oh, actually. This just any? Okay, so it depends. So it will depend on... Okay, so this is... Select is delivery. It would be... Mm, maybe not, because I don't know if I have... Oh no, I didn't want to do this again. I wanted to leave. There we go. Okay. Um, well, what is the curse? The curse lifting candy. Oh! Oh, that's not hard, actually. Hold on. I've changed my mind. Hold on. Just buy tomorrow? Sure, you can do that. Thanks. Come here, cuties. Oh, let me get you all! Oh, I missed one. It's fine. Come here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, so we need more vines, is what we need. Okay, this is one of the ways we can't go, right? Yeah, it's stuck. Can't go that way yet. Oh, I didn't think about it. Can I, cl can I get these? <gasps> I can! Ooh, more things we can collect. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, so the question is, can we collect butterflies now? Oh no, I missed! Oh, and then I missed. Nice. 
All right. You fire and then you missed. I did. I fired and then I missed. And then I fired again and I hit something, but it wasn't what I was aiming for, so I missed. <laughs> When did I quote that way too much? <laughs> oh. Fucking Nancy Jess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the Danny and Aaron playing the Nancy Drew game. I, I had to watch it because I love Nancy Drew games and I had played them all, so I wanted to watch them play it. And that part is probably one of our favorite fucking things ever. It's just a joke that we cannot help ourselves but do. Be honest, I don't watch them much anymore. I watch them every once in a while, but... actually about this like like there's nothing for me to write about over here they've gone off them not because they're funny but because my humor moved on I suppose yeah I think also I think their humor has kind of changed over time too Because I still happily I still happily watch um, other other like YouTubers. Well, some of them are now streamers that I used to watch back then. But is that a potato in the wall? Um, I grabbed the I grabbed the weird mango fruit and I didn't have room in my inventory, so I've run out of stam. I might as well just go to sleep. Oh, do I need Stam to make these things? Because we want this. Oh, I have to, okay, hold on. I have to clean up my inventory to be able to do anything. like hoarding all this new stuff now so yeah let's put these over too I don't do as many games that bring him to avoid a boy as used to yeah the plant that changes color oh my god yeah I remember that episode yeah Yeah, they- I guess that's probably partly true, too. I like the games where they were, like, either just completely, like, zoned out goofing off, or just, like, really getting angry. <laughs> but that's gotta be bad for your <laughs> To constantly play games that just make you really angry. <laughs> Oops. Didn't want to do that. Um, speaking of... Said something about I was uh, I could use this. Yeah, of course. Uh, broom maintenance is standard course at school. I remember the broom you were working on. It flew as if it splewed water from behind. <laughs> I wanted to spit fire, but wasn't water cool too? <laughs> You're lucky it was summer, and that it wasn't fire. No one would have laughed if it had been one of those two. It was just once. I can fix it if I have the required materials. A branch or mud which can be easily found in the forest. Okay. So I need, um... I need these. This 
guy. Oh, oh, I see what I have to do. Hey, I fixed it! Oh, there we go. Oh, nice! It is here, too, so I know that one is. Alright. Um, so three do not stir. So three and do not stir. feels a little less real than it did before. I don't know why. Did I use that right? I meant like they were. They were. <laughs> I, I understand what you meant. Yeah. Yeah, you used the, you used the right one. I totally get what you mean. Yeah, I kind of, I have that feeling too. Did you have a nightmare or something? Uh, no, it wasn't a nightmare. I'm sure I had a dream, but I can't remember anything. So she's constantly dreaming, but never able to remember what that dream is. Interesting. Hi, Ellie. Uh, no, I just want to do this delivery, please. Yay, we got coins! Actually, that was a lot of coins, too. 36? Uh, Hallie, wait a second. Uh, did you know that you can upgrade your work tools with the Luna coins you've earned? Experience a revolutionary crafting environment. My goal is to get off work on time. Okay. Like a shop? need anything yeah what's upgrading you can improve the tools used for processing and crafting in the witch's house using better tools you can make bigger quantities of ingredients or potions at once be sure to give it a try it's very convenient when you make multiple potions <laughs> she is stacked yeah so you can upgrade them okay which tool would you like to upgrade Okay, so yeah, I can upgrade the extractor to make more than what it is. Upgrade, you need, from level one, you need 70 coins, two branches, and six pieces. Of okay, okay, I see. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, cancel, please. Okay, there we go. Shop. Um. Yeah, the catalog, I guess. So we can get other potions and we could get chalk which we could finally get a new piece of chalk uh I just have your flesh looking yummy eyes <laughs> and then credit to our gentleman funny inter interactive currently the rotation is about three to four of you I get a good 7% of my content from. Yeah, I have a lot of... I don't watch a lot of things live. I think that's part of my problem. I'm trying to get better at watching like things live more often. And trying to find like other... Um, other like streamers that I would want to raid. A lot of my content is viewed through YouTube. But it's like streamers. But it's their, their stuff. Just, you know... This is probably why I put my stuff on YouTube as well. Is I just like to... It is hard to stream and view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I end up watching stuff way after the fact. <laughs> like, I still love to watch, like, the big time streamers, like, Sips and, um, from, who's from the Oxcast. Most of the Oxcast stuff, to be honest. I really like the Oxcast. And, um, like, Dodger. Dodger or what was once press hard to be continue. She's Dex bonus now on 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 Twitch. 
her and her husband. I like watching them. But most of the stuff I don't get to watch while it's live. Every once in a while I get to watch while it's live, but most of the time, no, I end up just watching their stuff later. That's just how I end up doing things, but I watch most of the stuff I've been watching for the last, like, ten years. <laughs> I like the Yogg's Cast D and D. Fuck, I haven't heard the name Dodger in years. I watch her all, all the time. I love watching her stuff um, because her and Sips play a lot of games like I play, and so I was always drawn to watching them because I it's like how I would learn games and stuff back in the day. Now I just kind of know when games come out. Yeah, no, she still she still streams. She streams um, full time. Both her and her husband do. I so I still watch them, still watch Sips. Uh, I don't watch any of the D and D stuff. Uh, the Strippin from the who used to be part of the Ogs cast. He he married her. <laughs> they got married. They got married. They have a kid. They're both great streamers. I love watching both of them. I've watched I've watched them since before. <laughs> the four times of streaming. <laughs> I might buy- I don't know. Should I buy a chalk? It'd probably be nice to have a chalk with me. Yes. I'll buy a chalk. I guess I also need to just start, like, getting the recipes for these potions. Rubber Ross and his ex before the whole- oh, yeah. Rubber Ross is really funny. I love watching his, um... His, uh, scrib his, uh, uh, gar, 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 garlic, whatever that program is. <laughs> I like watching those. Whatever that is. I love fun art things. Fun art things are fun. Because pretty much, uh, I was introduced to Yogg's cast stuff. And when, when the Yods cast did the thing with, um, with Jesse Cox at one point in Minecraft, I had kind of saw his stuff and then started really watching his stuff back then, which caused me to watch, um, Total Biscuit and all that. And I was watching those constantly. So then Dodger was on the list of people from watching the two of them. I should probably pick up this stupid thing that got left behind <laughs> the last time. The wall potato. There you go. I picked up the wall potato. I done it. But yeah. So I always kind of, I tried doing YouTube for a while, but I will be honest. Um, <laughs> I can't stand um, editing. I'm not a big fan of editing. I kind of find it annoying because Windhoof really loves editing and all that. And so he was doing YouTube and he kind of talked me into doing it. And I was like, okay, you know, yeah, sure. So I was doing Sims YouTube stuff, playing the Sims on YouTube, but I hated the editing. And for a while he was editing for me, but then he'd be busy and he didn't have the time. And so I kind of tried to take it over and I hated it. <laughs> Uh, Dangle Mango sounds like something Automod should have refused. <laughs> it really does, but it didn't. It did not refuse. See, I don't think I can do it if I'm over on this side. I have to be on that side of it to do it. I don't know how one gets to that. I must check the book of hated editing and lots of passion for it. Editing sucks. Yeah, uh, Wind really enjoys it. He likes messing with the sound of thing, like doing sound editing and stuff like that. He really enjoys it. But I just never did. I just want to play video games. 
So instead, I just started streaming after a while, and I realized that was like what most people were doing anyways. And I was like, you know what? What if I try that? And it's taken me a very long time to grow. Like, I meet a lot of people now that are like VTubers and stuff, and they're like in the same point as I am, but they've only been doing it for like a couple months, and I've been here for like almost three years now. And I'm just like, yeah. I've been streaming for like three to four years. <laughs> I'm sad that I can't go either way. But it's partly kind of why I decided to go with VTubing and make a character. It was Because it's one thing I can do. I made the character. I rigged it myself. I did all the effort, you know. I figured it out and I... I watched lots of videos on how to do it. I hate my inventory is always full. How do I upgrade my inventory? I need I need the upgradation, please. I can't I can't deal with my inventory being full all the time. <sighs> it's bothering me. I just I just don't want it to be full. I wonder if I can buy something somewhere. Please. Upgrade my inventory. That's what I need. Let me give you money and I'll upgrade my inventory. Please don't tell me it's going to make me... I thought I was supposed to investigate, not pick weeds. <laughs> it's getting me angry. Can't make it when someone else upgraded it for you. Yeah, this must be the house of the name person named Kayla. It's in the same condition as the other houses. If you want to get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now, we need to know the location. Let's ask the other villagers. Okay, so we're trying to figure out about the prickly vines. Okay. Hence the redacted pie. The forbidden pie! Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, they, uh, Lunos tried to comment about, uh, about, about cream pie. <laughs> And it got redacted, and for some reason, every time someone tries to say cream pie, it gets redacted again, even though we keep- I, I like, okayed it, and it still gets redacted somehow? It still constantly catches it? Yes, you can- you can say boss and cream pie. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't allow it anymore! I said okay! I said it was fine to use it, and they still redact it. Like, every time, auto mod. Like, come on. Here, here we go. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. <laughs> what about lube? <laughs> nope, lube is fine, I guess. Hey, you. Did you promise to get rid of those prickly vines? Uh, yes, that's about right. Yeah. But will you be able to do it? I fucking give up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, well, it started with people adding the space and then you guys were removing the space to see, because in all rights, I feel like, yeah, cream pie one word should be the one that is not okay because I feel like that is more saying the term in which it's being used for when you don't add the space but i feel like the space relates it being to a pie that's cream <laughs> yeah i'll bring the village back to its former appearance that's some confidence okay all right so prickly vines the prickly vines of the village yes uh in case you know something oh well I don't know much about the prickly vines. I just feel the malice filled with it. Malice? The prickly vines that only destroys houses. It's so unnatural. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, verbally dancing around in <laughs> C17 rated verbiage. Yep. Hey, we are a mature stream, so... <laughs> this is still a mature stream. The mature stream still... <laughs> Sorry, I'm testing Automot. I am so used to it at this point. Do not worry. I am so used to people testing the Automot. I have a feeling no matter what, 
Cream pie is never gonna be a thing you guys can say. Just gonna say. To let you all know, one of the cats just slotted on the arm of the chair. And they're like, Taco pants. <sighs> Smells. What would it be? Is there something? Is there someone who would know such? Who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know anything. How about searching through the witch's house at least? Okay, sure. Oh, and on the way to the witch's house, please do me a favor. What kind? I lost a bag containing an important ingredient. I think I lost it somewhere near the water. Please try to find it for me. I remember carrying it into the village. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Can we please- I can't- I can't stand the choppy noise any longer. Holy fuck. Shouldn't have stopped to have a conversation with you guys while he was chopping away in the background. I was about to lose my mind. Oh look, there it is. <laughs> I like how I just go to the water and I immediately find it. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, fine, hold on. This must be the bag. Let's go, let's take it. All right. Gravy boat. <sighs> Why did you put pants? <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God he's not chopping anymore. I'm running it all the time. Though it's quiet. Alright. Here's your ingredient bag. Give it the bag, yeah. Oh, panties! You were trying to see panties. <laughs> Did you find the bag? Yep, here it is. Ah, thanks. Needed that. What's in it? Hmm. Curious, are you? It's my secret recipe. Whoa, really? What is it? Pepper. Pepper? Yeah. Black gold. The king of spices. Man, I was looking forward to this secret recipe of yours. But I thought pepper is pretty cheap these days. Anyways, I don't really like pepper. Here, have a taste. This is true cuisine. Ugh, it tastes like pepper is overwhelming. Strange, people used to like it back in the old days. Just how long were the old days? Still, I can finally make beef bread again. Come find me if you get hungry. I did a quest. Half of me wants to flood chat with swears, but responsible half of me is like, maybe not. <laughs> it may, it may, it may be an idea not to do that, but you know. Oh wait, what does she sell? Have we actually looked at her shop? Epic of Hero Don Julius, who defeated the Demon Lord. Blue Pigeon, a love story about a girl named Jane who wished to spread her wings to the sky and fly as a blue pigeon free from all. Okay, Mud Boots, the story that came about about the shoe shiner Pedro, who met his mysterious fairy. Okay, Life with Mushrooms, a common mushroom. From common mushrooms to rare mushrooms, mushrooms for snacks to mushrooms that could kill you in one day. <laughs> okay. Well, we can get our, our roaster handle, but I love all these books. I see it loud. It's a British broadcasting. Yeah, BBC totally don't mean anything. <laughs> I can only imagine what BBC means. Beef bread dangle mangle. Yep, this game is definitely PG. It's suspiciously priced. I think you should buy it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, I have to come back. Shoot. I need a freaking... Give me bag upgrade! Lady, do you own a bad upgrade? Oh! <gasps> It costs so much money! Uh, God damn it. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a lot of fucking things for her, I guess. Man. Alright. 
Mental note, next step. Fucking bind bag upgrade. <laughs> First, I need to buy the freaking handle. Give her a dangle mangle. <laughs> oh. Gonna read this. All right. Okay, we will do the thing that we're supposed to do and then I'll probably end there just because it's not nighttime and I feel like we should sleep and then let the let that save and then use that as our next time which this game is a lot of fun I'm really enjoying it there seems to be a lot more than I thought there was going to be which is nice this is still pretty early access it only came out like last week but they have they have a lot so far, which is nice. But I think I heard someone say there's only like maybe ten hours of gameplay currently in like the main story. All right. Well, we need to buy this for this for our current story. Nope, I just needed that. I needed that to repair the thing. That was our quest. Well, other than this whole thing, which I just... Oh yeah, let's go talk about the prickly vines to the old lady. Hey, old lady. Time flies when I'm like this. You have something to say. Yes, the prickly vines, please. When it first appeared, I tried very hard to rid it. I tried an axe and I also set it on fire, but it was useless. Uh, no matter how I made the scar, it healed quickly. It resembles the white prickly vine. Isn't that right? But the white prickly vine disappeared completely when there was a full moon. And these vines didn't disappear even when there was a full moon. So it's as strong as the white prickly vine, but doesn't disappear on in a full moon. That's strange. We thought so too. It means it is providence of nature that if there are strong places, there are also weak places. This is all we know. I'm sorry I couldn't be much help. No, it's okay. It was, it was helpful enough. Do you have something to say? Nope, that's it. Thanks. So talk to villagers well i guess the only other villager oh wait could we talk to her about it are we to play undertale because goat granny is in the house <laughs> welcome uh do you need anything yeah can i ask you about the vines i don't have any information on that okay that's the only information you had. All right, what what do I ask the little boy about it? Okay. Uh, Rud, Rud, where are you? Where where are you playing now? Um, where is he at this time? Damn it. Is that an owlbear? What's an owlbear? Oh my god, I ran right past him like an idiot. Okay. Uh, there are very, very cool heroes living here. Um, I need to ask about the vines. The prickly vines in the village are not so good. Not so good? Uh, it's, it's, it's bitter, spicy, and, and not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I drank it by drawing it as tea. I dried and roasted by pickling only thorns. It was very hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There are so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. I'll make some delicious teas for you, Ellie. Okay, look forward to it. Oh, I remembered. The 
tasted similar to that thing. It also it also tasted similar to the white prickly vine and the little honey pumpkin in the forest. Hmm, I guess you also tried drinking them. A white prickly vine has a good scent. Hmm, but tastes similar. Can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks anyways, it was, it was helpful. All right, um, come over for some tea sometime. All right, I think I've asked everyone. Uh, tried to summarize what you've heard. That said it was a similar characteristic as the white prickly vine. Rubrum said it tastes a little like the little honey pumpkin. And then it is similar also to the, the little honey pumpkin. Arden didn't tell me anything in any particular. <laughs> he said it was someone's malice. Seeing a prickly vine that can destroy and get rid of a house is enough to make you think so. It seems that Arden thinks that the witches work. The witches curse. In a world like today, that's an old fashioned way of thinking. You wouldn't think so if you had been to the Serene Ultru. But the witches of the old days are still alive. Hmm. Uh, let's find the culprit later. Let's think about Kayla's house first for now. Let's also go look through the witch's house like Arden said. I think I might have seen something related to the prickly vine in the witch's bookshelf on the first floor. Uh-oh. Yeah, I have a feeling that the witch maybe went bad. It's really starting to feel like the witch that lived there maybe went bad. Like, from what we've been seeing. Okay, this time you can just find the book related to the prickly vine. I can't read anymore. I can't finish reading this here. Well, why not? Finish reading it. Who would get rid of the prickly vines if I die? People don't die just because they read a book for a long time. Hmm. I mean, Arya's daughter might might die. Look at this book. It looks like there's more than a thousand pages. Anyone would die after reading this. Then you're not going to read anymore. I think I'll just throw up if I read one more text. <laughs> I think the de I think the more important details come out right after that. What? Really? You wear? <laughs> I love that. She gets angry and upset about reading. Like, kind of throws a fit. Decides she doesn't want to read anymore. And then all he has to say is, oh, I think there's something interesting that comes up after this. Like, keep reading. I, I, think, I, th I think I know something interesting happens. And she's like, what? <laughs> and thank you for the hydrate and the stretch break. Oh, stretchies. Good stretchies before 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 the end of stream and some drinkies. Other than my coffee's cold. What? Where? The first dew of the spring, the red moon butterfly, and the fourth dawn of the sun. Summarize if you're not going to make it. Mix well and put in the desired plant seeds to make a new plant. It's a method to combine plants and characteristics. The prickly vines in the village were combined using this method. It seems so. From the information I heard, it seems to be a combination of little honey pumpkin and white prickly vine. Then now... Wait. Why is this book here? Someone's malice? But... Naturally, that book is not uncommon. It's a book that any witch who is interested in plants would have. Correct. It's merely a possibility. I mean, both of them. For now, this one has priority. Which one? The part that removes the prickly vines. Let's look through Kayla's house again. All right. Let me put things, uh, this thing in. Let's repair our, uh... Should we use the metal handle for the roaster? Yes, please! Good, now I now I can use the, roos the roaster. Good work, you'll be able to make more potions. Nice! I don't know what the roaster actually does, but now, now we have access to more potions. We've done it! 
I think that's pretty much almost everything fixed here. Because we now have access to, to the bookshelf that's for fixing our broom. We can use our, our cauldron, but we need a better handle, I think. I think there was some handle or something to this that needed to be fixed. I don't remember. Obviously that we fixed and now this we fixed. But it is late in the evening. It's going to be nighttime. Soon. Yeah, it's nighttime. So we should probably sleep. We should probably do some sleepies. Upgrade tools. So now they really want us to upgrade a tool. They're ex probably expensive though. I'm not sleepy yet. Oh shit. Okay. She won't sleep at uh, until a certain point. Okay. Hey, come back here. I need your stuff. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, wait, I can actually use my broom now. Whee! Though we haven't really found anywhere new to, like, explore. I wonder from the storyline we're gonna learn how to like go other places. I guess I'll grab more crane apples. I don't know if they're even useful for anything. one place to come over here I don't know if it actually opens up anything for us oh no not here um you know what hold on we god controlling the broom all right, because if we come over here, there's that one area that had a thing. Like over here, right? Um, up? I will collect these, though. I don't have the right chalk for that. Interesting. Whee! Pretty much once you climb up there, you can get down pretty easily. <laughs> then what is this? Like, oh, did I take the chalk out of my inventory? Is that what happened? I might have took the chalk out of my inventory. All right, we'll sleep. Late enough for to sleep now, uh, and then we're gonna end it here, though. Oh, no one even comments about our stuff this time. Nice, okay. All right, good, we saved. I might manually save, though, too, just in case. Okay. All right. 
Um, we'll go back to this. All right, thank you everyone for being here today though. This was fun. We got to explore, explore a new game, which is always fun. Move me over again. <laughs> Gonna explore a little witch in the wood. I'll definitely play this some more. Um, maybe next week I'll play a little bit more of this. Um, but I do want to work a little bit on sand rock and try to catch up. Once we get to past the point where I'm not doing some, where where I know there isn't like a cutscene coming up real soon, I will try to do a little of um, my time at sand rock on my own, just to kind of like push it to the point in which we actually have good new stuff for us instead of just old stuff. Yeah, this game is super cute. Um, it's in early access, so there's I don't know how much game there is of this currently, but it's pretty it's pretty polished and going for like a new early access game. Because normally I do wait a while with early access games to try to give them a chance to have a little bit more there, but this one had it seems to have a decent amount already, so I didn't mind giving it a try. Giving it a try, so we'll definitely play more of this. We might come back to it here and there over the months as it gets updated and stuff. So that's cool. But I hope you all have a great weekend. And I will guys, I'll see you guys most likely Monday for some, some probably Warframe or something. We'll see. I don't know what I want to do in Warframe. So I might just end up playing Sandrock or this game or something and not do Warframe next week if I can't think of something fun. But we'll see because we might finish. We were here forever and then end up playing Warframe on Wednesday so we'll see we'll see what I'm feeling like I'm kind of feeling like playing more of this game or playing more of Sandrock I'll be honest I'm having more fun with those currently but we'll see we'll see what happens thank you everyone for being here though and I will see you guys when the weekend is up <laughs> so have a good day or a good evening depending what time it is for you if it's really late go to bed <laughs> so bye guys I'll let you guys find your own places to go from here. Have a good, have a good night or day.